I'm Anissa Sakile with the East Daily Download. Right now you guys are joining me on a walk outside of my apartment complex. So now that North Carolina is under stay at home order, people are going stir crazy. It's a perfect time to get out and try something new. I've never, you know, officially tried bird watching before outside of me just sitting there and looking and noticing that I don't know what type of bird it is. So I want to try to identify them now. So I went to Walmart, got some binoculars, and I'm out for a walk. Yeah, we're all about bringing birding to people wherever they are because birds are pretty much everywhere uh, in the state. It's hard to go anywhere or even spend a day without seeing a bird. So. Or hearing the them, world. especially. <laughs> yeah. Scott Anderson is a bird biologist for the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. He says with over 470 species of birds living in North Carolina at some point through the year, not to be discouraged if you can't identify too many birds in your first few tries. So I really recommend um, an app called Merlin Bird ID. It's a free app. The app asks about five questions to help you out like what's the size of the bird, where you are, and what time of year it is. And also even play the song of that bird if the, if the bird is wow, nearby. So. That's really cool. On my first walk, I wasn't really having luck finding birds. So Scott suggested a change of scenery. It's just to sit and be still and quiet. You know, you could go out in the middle of uh, a park somewhere or even in your backyard. If you sit still for five or 10 minutes, you might see a lot more birds just hanging around. After making a few adjustments and getting used to the binoculars, I was able to identify three species of birds. But when you're just getting started with something, it's normal to have a few questions. Not now, because you know you can't connect with too many people if you want to go bird watching together, but Facebook groups and things like that, could you talk about how people can get involved with that? Absolutely, there are lots of Facebook groups. Um, uh, there's a couple in North Carolina. So even though we're under stay at home order and birding might be a new hobby for you, there's an entire online community that you can reach out to for help. Uh, we always like to emphasize it, like not to get hung up on, on always getting the species right or identifying a particular bird. So but it's, it's really, you know, there is no wrong way. <laughs> for more information on bird watching, go to WNCT.com and click on the download tab. And don't forget, the easiest way to get started is just to step outside of your apartment and enjoy nature. I'm Anissa Sakile with the East Daily Download.